APC calls PDP article good customers, says Peter B only enjoys social media frenzy. The ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, has urged the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria's People Party, NNPP, and former Governor Kano State, Rabu Musa Kwakwanso, to return to the party before it is too late for him to do so. The APC cautioned Kwakwanso, who was a chieftain of the ruling party, not to be deceived as supporters from only two states in the country can never make him become the president anytime soon. According to The Punch, the APC's Deputy National Publicity Secretary, Yakubu Motela Ajaka, while interacting with the newsmen on Sunday, called on Kwakwanso to retrace his steps and return to the ruling party he helped build because he is sure that one day he will become the president under the party. Ajaka, who insisted that Kwakwanso stands a brighter chance of becoming the future president on the APC platform, noted that Kwakwanso has made great contributions to the development and progress of the ruling party. The APC's deputy national spokesperson, who reminded the NNPP presidential candidate of his special contributions to the party in 2015, said, That is why I said it is not too late for him to return to the APC. That's where he naturally belongs and has assurance of becoming a president one day and not under his current sectional NNPP. Although some people might be deceiving him by calling him Mr. President already, just one or two states in the Northwest cannot make him president. Kwakwanso needs a national party like APC to achieve his presidential ambition, so I plead to him to do the needful before it is too late. The APC spokesperson mocked the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and his obedient movement, saying that the candidate only enjoys social media frenzy. Just like Kwakwanso, Peter Obi is only enjoying sectional sympathy, but a real presidential candidate needs to enjoy acceptability from all parts of the country. So we believe that Peter Obi should enjoy his social media frenzy for now before the real campaign starts very soon, he said. Also speaking on the ruling party's view of the main opposition PDP with the former Vice President Atik Abubakar as its presidential candidate, Ajaka bragged that the APC has never been worried about the PDP nor has Atiku ever been a threat to Bola Tinubu of the APC. Citing the outcome of the recent Ikiti state governorship election where APC candidate emerged as the winner, Ajaka said that PDP and Atiku are good customers to APC who cannot go beyond coming second at any election. Even that second position has been threatened with the recent results of Ikiti governorship election recently. Well, I think <laughs> the campaigns are going to start soon and... Yes, we're going to see more of this sort of, I'd say, what's, what's the word can I, I can use? Subtle coercion, bullying, intimida intimidation, exactly. That's what is basically going on. I mean, it's not surprising. It's a competition at the end of the day. And whoever wants to save face and, you know, look as though they're not threatened can do that, you know. Everyone is trying to make sure that they are, they are there. At the end of the day, you know, APC literally reeks of desperation, let's be honest. I mean, it literally shows there. Um, PDP, honestly, just vibes. At Atiku is literally in Dubai, relaxing and doing his thing. Peter B is putting in the work, starting again. I mean, drama, the fact that he left and the previous party and now joined a whole new party that we did not know of. And so, yeah, so what is going to happen right now is we will just wait and see what happens, literally. Um, the people are the ones to carry Peter B there. In the south, okay, fine. But in the north, which is where power lies, how can we make sure that Peter B can reach there as well? well we're going to have to wait and see. Um, but I think what I'm confused about, actually, is how the electoral process works. Because it's a thing where in each state, the party, yeah, so 
the winning party or the presidential candidate is going to have to get over 25% of the votes in at least 24 states out of the 36 states. Which is, I think, is very safe, given the fact that a lot of people don't even go out to vote. And given our history, a lot of people do not go out to vote. Because I was thinking 25%, I mean, in totality, I mean, it, it's a lot for each state. But then Nigeria is big. There are a lot of states. And the population of states, I mean, wow, over 25%. Actually, I think that actually that might make sense because it no, it doesn't make sense. Well, maybe it does. I mean, there are only three parties at the end of the day, but um, we're just gonna have to, have to see what happens. I mean, twenty four to thirty six, mm, we can see that. Oh, that can possibly work, but fact is, with power lying in the north, as we know, Tinubu and Atiku are gonna have to fight for the north and get whatever they need to get. Um, for the south. It's also pretty much mm, the Southwest and Tinubu, he's kind of got that as well. So again, when it comes to the campaigns, things can, I mean, this is where the drama actually happens. And I think we all need to be excited because we're stepping into history. Nigeria's history is going to, you know, take a different turn depending on what the outcome is. But campaigns look very exciting and everyone should Look forward to it. I mean, there may be drama of some kind. I mean, maybe. There will be. We just hope that everything goes safe and there isn't any, you know, loss of lives or anything. Um, keep consoling yourself. APC will receive the biggest shock of its life come January next year. As for me and my household, we stand for Peter B. Yeah, everyone is saying it is going to shock them. And I think this statement um by apc just shows the level of intimidation that it's so easy for them to intimidate their way through things and i think this time the results may be different you can't just intimidate your way i mean i know people make i mean political parties do make comments to put themselves up and still but like there's a way you do it you can still throw shade or make yourself look better than other parties but it's not by intimidation because intimidation shows that you're actually scared and you're threatened of what a possible outcome could be that you may not like literally um it's their fixation on peter obi for me why are they having sleepless nights over peter obi no presidential candidate in the history of nigeria has been advertised so freely by both the opposition and the news media like peter obi as in you want, I mean, the kind of support that Peter B has is something that you, it's literally grace because your enemies are talking about you, the news are talking about you, everybody is just talking about you. So it's like this Peter B revolution, whether you like it or not, whether you like him and you're opposing what he does, you are promoting him by talking about him, which you're adding to the advantage. So yeah, put what you think about it in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.